Welcome to First Canada's FTC SIM tutorials. This series is about how to use FTC SIM, a First Tech Challenge robot simulator created by First Canada. So if you've been with us before, you will recognize this is our landing screen, and this is what it's always looked like. Um, and typically, when we've done tutorials, we've gone to either FTC movement or FTC sensors, and we're leaving the puzzles for you. But today, we see there's a fifth one that's been added, and it's, it's uh, interesting because it presents us with a new robot that we're going to call Gravy. So let's take a look at that. So as with uh, all of our um, courses, there are multiple puzzles. So here we're going to start again with the first one on the top. I'll explain a little bit about the puzzle. Uh, there are certain things that are the same. So you can see as I'm zooming in, we still have the same framework for starting a uh, a session of coding for our robot and that's the same whether you're doing this virtual robot in FTC sim or you're coding a, a real FTC robot in the blocks coding environment so here you can see our robot there's a couple of interesting things that I'll mention about the typical um, uh, grabby puzzles there's a sky stone there's often a touchpad where you're trying to put the sky stone on the touchpad that will open this gate and allowing you to get to the flag. Okay. Um, the grabby robot itself is uh, different in two significant ways. It's probably different in multiple ways, but two of them that we're going to talk about in this series. And the first one is it's got a wheel here in the middle of the robot underneath that is uh, an omni wheel that is perpendicular to the other wheels that are there. And that will allow us to go sideways, which we're going to talk about today. The other thing it's got on the front is this arm that's going to allow us to grab things. The arm is controlled by a smaller motor called a servo. So we're going to get started right away and we're going to talk about how to make this move. Uh, before we do that, we want to remind everybody how we made the robot move with the original four wheels. And we went to actuators, DC motor, and we chose dual and we gave power to each of the motors. If you recall when we did that in the first video, Basically, it just made it spin. Now, I'm making it spin because it gives us a better view of that um, perpendicular wheel right in the middle, which we're going to call sideway. And we had to, with the original motors, make a change to the left drive one so that it would actually be um, driving us forward. So again, that's in DC motor. We set the direction of the left one, and we set it to reverse because... Um, if you looked at the underside of the robot, you'd see that the motors have been flipped uh, and one of them would make the robots uh, go in one direction. The other one would make the robot go in a different direction, causing it to spin. So now we can see that it moves. You can see that the touchpad working and the block flying, which I like. It's kind of cool. Anyways, we're going to just uh, disable this for now. Um, and we're going to look at... And again, disabling them means if I try to run the program, the computer's just to ignore any um, code that's been disabled. And we're going to get from DC Motor this one that says, which you've seen before. We, we've never used it, but we did see it before. And it has a drop down here where we can choose drive left, drive right, or now sideways. And so giving it sideways power when we run it makes it run to the side obviously giving it a value of one which is the maximum speed it can do again giving it a value of zero doesn't send any power to it so it's not going to do anything and we can go as low as negative one let me get uh, rid of that zero <clears throat> so that's the minimum value this is the lowest we can go is negative one the highest we can go is one and we can do decimals in between so now you'll see it goes um, to its left so so that's kind of how it works. So I'm going to turn this one back to one. And if I um, re-enable or enable these and this one, I can see that it's going to go on an angle. And if I put that in as a negative, it's going to go on another angle. I want to say these are 45s, but I haven't measured it and I haven't done the math, but I, I kind of think they are. So you can make it move. And again, um, we would typically put some way to control how long it 
or how far it goes for. Uh, the easiest one for me to use is the sleep. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to duplicate this one and set the power to zero uh, so that we can stop it from going. And same thing with this one and set the power to zero right here for both of the motors so we can get it to start. So any combination of these, um, you can try out and see what difference that makes. So there we're only going a certain distance. I mean, you could say, oh, I want to see what happens if I make this at half speed, but still keep the uh, the sideways guy going at full speed. So you can see that it's uh, giving you a little bit of a, a different distance. Obviously, the distance would be would, would have changed and so on. So you, you can work with these. You could say, okay, well, I don't want to set this power to zero yet. Let's see what will happen if I disable that and it's still going to go sideways. So here we go, and it goes, and then it goes sideways. So that that's pretty cool too. It allows us to do some some cool things in our program. So hopefully you've learned a little bit about this new robot called uh, Grabby. Uh, we're going to come back to this puzzle again and uh, do a short video tutorial on how to use the grabber and uh, some of the other things that uh, we can use with our new Grabby robot. So I hope you enjoyed this and hope you keep coming back. Share this with your friends. Uh, it's free, free to create accounts as you would have done to get to this point. If you do have any questions or comments or suggestions, please feel free to contact me at pkeenan at firstinspires.org. So thanks again, and we'll see you shortly with a new video.